This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com While the familiar interpretation of Asar B'teves is that it's the day that Nebuchadnezzar set siege to the city of Yerushalayim, nevertheless, every Jewish calendar date is rooted back in time. Often we find that there is an Avera that Klal Yisrael did in its very formation that caused that day to be seared in a day of misfortune, Shavas Tamas is the day of the Ched HaEgel. Tishabav is the day of the Ched HaMaraglim. The Beis Yishai suggests that Sarbatevis is the day of Mechiras Yosef, but it really roots even deeper than that. In previous shiurim, we've quoted from the Chassam Soifer that Sarbatevis is the 98th day of the year. 98 corresponds to the number of Klolois in the Toichacha. The Chidah says 98 is Chinam, Sinas Chinam. Rabbi Yonis and Ibishitz also takes note of the fact that Asar B'tevis is the 90th day of the year, and in Drush Yud Beis and Chilak Beis, Vyanis and Abishitz points out that based on the Arizal, Adam Harishain, after eating from the Ched of the, after eating from the Eitz Hadas, he was misboided, 98 days, 49 days, you made Tumah, 7 times 7, 49 days, you made Tahara, 7 times 7, a total of 98 days, and then on the 9th and the 10th, Asar B'teves, Admarishan accepted upon himself Golos, and he went into exile. And that is why it is decreed on the Jewish people that the process of exile begins on this day, the 98th day of the year. Not only does it date back in time to Mechiras Yosef, it goes all the way back to that very first day when Admarishan ate from the, from the Eitz Hadas, and then 98 days later, after being misboided and doing tshuva, he accepted upon himself Galos. And therefore, it says Rabbi Yonason Ibishitz, he immersed himself in the May Gichain, as the Zara Chadar says on Rus, to do tshuva. And therefore, these are the 98 days of tshuva that Adam Arishain did. Therefore, on this day, we should be metahir ourselves and be uh, returned in tshuva. And just like on Adam Arishain it was decreed Galos, so too the Galos begins for us on Asar B'teves. And similar to how the Medrash compares the Eicha, called out by Yirmi Hanavi, to the Ayeka that, uh, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu said to Adam Marishain, where we're comparing the Churban Beis HaMikdash to the Churban that Adam Marishain brought, so too the Golos that Klal Yisrael went into is being compared to the Golos that Adam Marishain went into. And therefore, just as Yirmiya declared, HaShiveinu HaShem Eilach V'Rashuvah Yomenu Kekedem don't just bring us back to the period of time when the Beis HaMikdash stood. Bring us back to the state of the Bria of before Adam Rishon sinned at the Eitz Hadas. That's the significance of Asar B'teves in the worldview of Rabbi Yonis and Ibishitz. Not only do we trace it back to the sins of the Churban Beis HaMikdash, but it goes all the way back to the period of time of Adam Rishon doing tshuva for the Ched of the Eitz Hadas. Wishing everyone an easy tainus. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.